Yeah, Gypsy Rose's boyfriend is in hot water right now. He he confronted this dude that left a comment on a I think it was a video about Gypsy needing to look into Ken Urker because he met him on Grinder. If you don't know what Grinder is, Grinder is an app for homosexual or those who like the same gender or preference to meet and hook up. And this man, Cowboy Bear for you, said to Gypsy, by the way, Gypsy, you should really investigate Ken. Some of us have met him on Grinder, and Grinder is an app for, you know, homosexuals. And for lesbians. Wow. Um, Cowboy Bear was also a part of a live. The Sir Morbid X YouTube live. That was over five hours long. And he talked about his story about Ken. And in this live, he showed screenshots of Ken's grinder profile. Talked about how he met him not once but twice. Once in Texas. And that they hooked up both times. It spoke about Ken's preferences, mentioned Ken, um, spoke about how Ken mentioned that he dated somebody that was in prison and said that he, Cowboy Bear said he has been messaged by more men that have met Ken via Grinder, and they don't feel comfortable coming out about the situation because of Ken Urker's relationship with Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Cowboy Bear also went on to say that media outlets have like reached out to him, but he refuses to speak to them. He doesn't want to talk to them because it's not, he doesn't want any clout. He's not a clout chaser, which is what he said in the Sir Morbid X's live. He doesn't want any monetary gain from this. He just wants the truth to be out there, which is what everybody wants. But clearly, Gypsy Rose and Ken Urker don't agree. And in this live, Gypsy's ex, soon to be ex-husband, Ryan Anderson, was brought into it because Ken Urker believes that Ryan paid Cowboy Bear for you to talk about this story. What? Why would Ryan Anderson do that? He seems to be the most sane out of everybody involved in this. So why would he do that? It makes no sense. Ryan Anderson, in my opinion, has been the most hurt out of this situation. You bedded his wife, and she left him for you. Paternity unknown. We don't know who's who's the father. We'll just say that. We don't know who's the father of her baby. You guys keep spreading your stuff all over the internet. You even held up a sweater that says handpicked by my grandma in heaven. No. You know how bad that makes your 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 baby mama look? That makes her look really bad because she unalived her mom. Why are you then pushing all the heat from yourself onto this man who wants nothing to do with you? It makes no sense. And during this live, Cowboy Bear even refuted that, saying that he reached out to Ryan to try and talk to him about this weird situation and Ryan hasn't responded to him whatsoever. So Ken Urker's just, you know, drowning in water at this point until he joins the live. I don't know if any of you that are watching this actually watch the live, but as I'm recording this, I'm also watching the live again. The way that Ken comes out like swinging, he sounds guilty of what he's being accused of. You cannot justify the tone in your voice, the uneasiness in your voice, and how upset you are with not that of feeling guilty. I know that feeling. I've felt that quite a few times before, where you are so engrossed in pain and fury, where you are jitters, and you just go out swinging. And you make accusatory statements. That's exactly what Ken sounds like during this live. It it just it sounds 
it hurts just listening to this man trying to bicker and trying to not admit any guilt in something that is being brought to the table. I know that him and Sir Morbid X lot um, have a interview set up and they're, or they're, they're going to interview and there's going to be content creators that can submit questions or whatever. Do you think he's actually going to admit to anything? I would hope so. So you can clear it up. But I also feel, still feel the same way that I do about Ken um, as I have, which he's after money. He's not, he's not in it for the long haul. And I've seen it in comments on videos that I put up before about Gypsy where as soon as this comes to head or Gypsy goes back to prison, he's gone. He's not going to be there with her. And it's the same thing with her stepmom. They ain't going to be around her because they don't have a cash cow. What do I've seen it in person because I've seen it happen to a family member. As soon as they have money, here comes people right out the woodwork. Because all they want is money. That's all they care about. And I've seen other family members do that, which is really sad, but very true. So what you have to acknowledge is that right from wrong or what you're doing is wrong. Because if not, it's just, it's just sickening. It's like watching or hearing two females fighting with each other. He got, he, Cowboy Bear even says that he hasn't, he reiterates that he hasn't talked to any media outlet. Who has TMZ in their back pocket? Who has his media outlets in their back pocket? Gypsy and Ken. So why are you, ref why are you pushing that onto this man who literally has stated multiple times he doesn't want to talk to any media about this? He just wants to clear the air about what happened to him, how you wronged him how you he had a encounter with you not once but twice what's so wrong in admitting that you messed up you had an encounter with a man it's already come out that you're bisexual just admit to it it's okay you don't i mean technically you don't have to but still if you care about your What's the word I'm thinking of? Your presence, your media presence. You might want to clear that up. You might want to, you know, address all of them in a statement because you're making yourself a public figure, even though you're not really a public figure. You're just a boyfriend of a murderer. Um, you might want to clear that up a little bit. So further comes out that this man actually has a video of the act of what they did together. And he doesn't want to share it with Ken or with Sir Morbid. And that's totally fine. He does not have to. What he can do is take a still of it and send it to both of them. He does not have to show them the actual video. He can be safeguarding that for his own identity purposes, which is completely fine. I understand that. And they can't pressure him to release it. Because if they do, that's wrong. That's that's really wrong. And, I mean, if they do, that's blackmail, which is illegal. But, you know. He also justifies, too, saying that he's afraid of releasing it because he thinks that Ken is going to turn around and use it against him. And say that he released it as a revenge video. You know what I mean. Um which people do. I mean, Rob Kardashian did it to Black China, so you know people do it. Ken in the video also, or in the live, also said that where he worked when he lived in Dallas, which is at the Hilton, um, and there's a comment underneath this video that's put up by YouTuber Headlines that says, somebody who used to work for Hilton, yes, one of the perks is getting free rooms. You can bring guests. You know which of the rooms are vacant, and you can slip in and out of them, which is actually smart of Ken to do because he had a girlfriend at that time. And YouTuber Headlines says, thanks for sharing the perks. I mean, 
you can also hook up with whoever, like, that's what they're alluding to is you can hook up to, with whoever you want and not get caught because you're working in a hotel and you know which rooms are empty, which is very, yep. So all of this is clearly just more of a hot mess. Each time I talk about this, each time I bring it up, it just gets worse and worse and worse. What do you think? Leave it in a comment down below. I want to know. What do you think?